So this is the week of New Year's, our fish order. Got a lot of stuff this week because we um, didn't get anything last week. So let's take a look. Um, first thing in, they put the uh, common name on there. What's the scientific name on this guy? Yeah. Good look in the bag. Let's Ooh. see. Fishy. All right, well, I'll have to figure out what that is. Definitely some sort of, uh... oh, you know what? This is the uh, um, Madagascar cichlid. Something that doesn't pop up too long. Uh, forgot the... There's a scientific name right there. This is a Madagascar cichlid. I got a bunch of these in for customer, but there are enough for people that want to pick them up too. So, 10 of those guys. Nice. All right, now, these are classic OB peacocks. We always have a pretty good Peacock selection here. Little guys, already showing some color. Generally from uh, this supplier, they they look really nice when they're adults. Oh yeah, so, they already got a little color already, on them. Already got nice color. Sweet. Those guys run about, I think, 10, 12 bucks. Got some pandacories, you know, bread and butter, classic. Right, uh, everybody loves all, those. Looking spunky and good, so that's always good. <clears throat> uh, cherry barbs, another bread and butter item, but we sell a lot of them. Looks like it's a pretty good male to female ratio there. Sometimes we get stuck with a bunch of females, so if you're looking for some nice males, they're in there. Sweet. And we got some discus. So it's a little two and a halfers. This is a uh, pigeon checkerboard discus. So definitely stressed out, but um, he's looking nice, even stressed out. I think there's nine to discus total. So. Okay, nice. Classic silver arowanas. Um, not much to say about those. We sell a lot of them, and they always come in looking nice. I was gonna say they're hard to keep in stock. Yes, Every time we get one, he <laughs> leaves us. Uh, transparent knives. These guys are you don't see too often. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, these guys are cool. They uh, don't get as large as the normal knife. Um, they're not as aggressive either. So if you're looking for a weird oddball that maybe you can fit in a tank with some smaller fish, well, looks like we got one down. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, that's uh, shipping for you. Yeah, or no. we actually, uh, last time we got one of those, one died. All right, these are awesome. I wasn't sure if we were going to get these. 183s, we've had some people looking for these for a while. Beautiful ancestress, um, just awesome coloration. They're definitely going to need some fattening up, but they are nice fish. Um, good size, too. I'm surprised they came in this big. Cool. What is next? Pistagramma cockatoides orange flash. Beautiful. Looking great as always from the supplier. Um, so yeah, lots. looks like four males and two females maybe. Maybe five males, we'll see. But yeah, really nice coloration if you're looking for a smaller fish in a smaller tank. It's just got a lot of color. Wow. Servi Corridors. Got those in for a customer, but there's some. some. Hold on, let me get the angle oh, right there. That's <laughs> me screwing it up. There we go. Those guys are cool. Nice dark coloration when they're not stressed out. And they have like an orange tint to their fins, which is pretty cool. Right. Uh, mono shrimp. We sell a ton of these too. Great for planted tanks. Um, came in decent size this week. Kind of hit or miss on those, but yeah. Um, not much else to say about those. Okay. Fricata rainbows, nice little dwarf rainbow. Um, nice, beautiful blue eyes, and they got these yellow pom pom fins. Kind of stressed out, but they'll look nice in the tank. What do we got here? Ooh. Some oh, tire nice. track here. It's good size. Big boys, they weren't joking. So, those guys are cool. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> nice and active. active. In there, yeah, they're <laughs> Black belt sickles. Uh, people ask for these from time to time, and they were on the list, so I picked them up. Just a uh, cool Central American uh, fish that just people like. So. Old black belt cichlid. All right, buy sure. This is a special order for a customer. We do special orders here, so if you're looking for something, we can get it in for you. Um, this was uh, Calibia buy sure. Um, pretty cool it's got nice almost like a stegosaurus like fin yeah I was gonna say it's very dinosaur so, looking 
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, looking for a dinosaur fish, you know. But yeah, that was special order. Somebody's probably already going to get that. Yep, hopefully. He said he was going to. Uh, we got some Pearl Grammys, just nice bread and butter. People have been asking for them over the other three uh, full-size Grammys we have for whatever reason, so decided to get some. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, right now we got pale blue. We got those pale blue ones. Yeah, we got some blue ones. We got some golds. Um, I think there's a snake skin in there. So. Nice. Uh, some nice guppies. Trying to offer a nice selection of guppies. These are gold snake skins. Nice coloration. Uh, we also have some blue neons in and some flamingos. So just a nice different color contrast to those two. So yeah, nice males. Okay. Uh, blue tux platies. Our platy game was slipping, so I had to get some plays. <laughs> I got some blue tucks. Um, yeah, looking nice. Oh, those look they're, good, yeah. Yeah, they're stressed out. They'll color up more in the tank. Put them in a nice black substrate tank. They'll pop real nice. <clears throat> All right. Oh, haven't had these in, in a while. These are the uh, uh, South American puffers. Oh, Community nice. puffers. I say that like that because sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But um, they're cool fish. Uh, Look nice, healthy. So. so when you say community puffers, what are we talking? Are we, uh, they, they... People can usually get away with those in other tanks. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's really hit or miss with those. Okay. I found that if you buy them in a group, they'll do. They'll be a lot more comfortable. Okay. So right, for those, it is plausible. Yeah. Definitely right, the friendliest of puffers. That's one box down. Two more to go. People that don't know, Ethan's one of the owners of the store here, yep. and the and resident. Day -day. Yeah, the resident fish genie. <clears throat> By genie, I mean genius. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nice Royal Pleco L191. I think it's the broken line, is what they call that one. Um, it's not the one with the red eyes, but it's, it's oh, nice. That's it's a good cool, size. Though. Yeah, it's a really good size. Actually, it's, it's kind of like chunky. Yeah, they're they're like a short, really stocky fish, like a bodybuilder, when they get full size. About eight nine inches, and they get like real beard. Um There's another one. Got three of these. These royals sell really well. So cool. We have a ton of plecos in stock right now too. So if you're looking for something, just come on by. We might have it. Uh, there's another uh, discus. That's a nice one. Oh, nice. It's a melon. yellow melon. Yeah. People have been asking for some yellow ones, so I got some yellow ones in. Yellow melons. All right, and uh, there's another uh, Royal mm -hmm. 91. Another yellow melon. I got three of each, and I think I got three or four different types. Plenty of plenty of discus to choose from. Yep. Here's another checkerboard. That one's looking real nice, even even in a stressed out situation. Another arowana. So, here Ooh. in the store, we like to feed uh, bloodworms. Um, usually, they come in small like this, and you gotta fatten them up. Bloodworms is the key. Uh, some CPDs. Uh, we're gonna leave some of these out for sale, but we're actually having a little breeding project that we're starting up, and these are gonna be part of it. These are actually wild caught ones. So, uh, oh, nice. The babies, I guess you can call them F ones. Um, but yeah, these are just a really fun, colorful fish for a nano tank with like little brook trout. So. The nano tanks are popular. Oh yeah. Bridgette, more more nano stuff. These are the chili raspberries. We're getting low. Uh, we sell a lot of these. So just a fun little red fish. You know, for a five gallon or smaller, uh, they're pretty hardy. So. All right. <clears throat> Dwarf frogs. Tim knows about these. <laughs> yeah, people are always asking for them. So yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I never knew how many people were into just getting aquatic frogs and whatnot. It's, but yeah, it's, it's a ton of people. There's a red mallet again. Oh, that's a yeah. There we go. <laughs> Trying to hide. There you go. Nice color on. Counter here's getting the full. <laughs> right. Uh, Congo Tetris. Someone snagged all the ones we had left up, so I got some more in. Um, yeah, decent size. Uh, looks like they're about big enough to sex. Yeah, I can tell the male and females in there. So those are really nice, big tetra. If you're looking for uh, something, you know, semi-aggressive tank, 
You get about, you know, that big, beautiful orange that stripe on them. size. Yeah. Penguin Tetras, all oh, those came in huge. Those are awesome. Really different uh, Tetra, not super colorful, but they're, the way they s just sit there is really cool. Kind of on a 45 degree angle. Odessa Barks, another thing. Someone bought all of them, so we had to get more in. Um, decent size, definitely can sex them, so that is cool. <laughs> Boom <Move> location! <laughs> I don't have a space on the counter there. Um, these are the Rasbora. What was the common name? I, got, I think they're called like Red Dots or something. Uh, Anyways, yeah, they're a type of Rasbora. Um, Red Dot, I think, or something along those lines. That's the scientific name on there. So. Not too flashy in the bag, but. Pisto Honda. Oh, These guys uh, came in huge. Uh, they have a really nice color. Not in the bag here, but really nice color. Look really nice in a black water tank. Um, I think these guys are they're on special this week. We got a really good price on them, so we're gonna give you guys a good price. That's what we do here. So, yeah. Some fire mouse, classic uh, Central American, Central South American fish. So, sell a lot of those too. Came in decent size, nice coloration. Look at that beautiful red. <clears throat> Chocolate Australs, so oh, they put them all in one bag this time. These guys are cool. Uh, kind of like a darker Austral rainbow, or rainbow, killifish. Um, so yeah, these guys are nice. We sell them in pairs here. That's how they sell them to us, so that's how we sell them. Uh, but yeah, nice fish. Cardinal Tetris, tank raised ones. Uh, like getting the tank raised ones, they're usually a little hardier. Uh, so, yeah. There's 50 of them in there. Those are probably one of our. Mm, probably what we sell most of, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So. Looks like we're gonna have somebody walk in here. Right. <laughs> Yellow Melon Tetra, or Tetra. Discus. Cool fish. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Good. Doing a little, uh, oh yeah, doing a little live new unboxing. stuff. Got the fish order coming in here. Right. Take a look around. Yep. And the last box. 145 pounds total. Mr. Boxes. <laughs> It was, like a, it was like a champagne cork. <laughs> uh, some more eels, these are peacock eels. Pretty subtle coloration, but on their fins is where they get that peacock name. They got that, that circle like the peacocks do on their feathers. Okay. So those guys are pretty cool. Active as nice. you can tell. Definitely one out of the bag. Um, Otto Sinkless, another fish that we sell a ton of here, along with the Amano shrimps. They kind of go hand in hand in a nice community tank. Great algae eaters. Those ones look nice. Definitely eating, lots of poop in the bag. Definitely nice and fat. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh. Some uh, more African. <coughs> Sorry about that. Feel a little under the weather. Um, here's some African knives. They are huge. It came in way bigger than two weeks ago. Um, yeah. Really cool oddball fish. You've only seen a handful of times out of the year. So. Here we go. These are freshwater archer fish. This is one of three. So, pretty dark in here. I don't know if that's because he's stressed out or if he just has really nice dark coloration. But there he is. Those are the fish that uh, call them archers because they shoot water out on bu at bugs and stuff. And it's pretty cool. Some red tears. Oh, these are coming in bigger and bigger every week we get them, which is cool. Um, red tears are really popular. People have always been asking for them. And yeah, I'd say that's one that people definitely always ask for. Some yo-yo loaches. Um, get them in because of the really cool pattern that says yo-yo on their body. Um, <laughs> and they're great snail eaters. Uh, they kind of get a little aggressive when they're bigger, but that's most uh, loaches like this. So, yeah. 
you have a snail problem, those are your guys. Another archer. Wow, that one has like a blue tint to it. You see that? That's yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see on the film there, but he's moving, and trying to get yeah. out of focus. <laughs> there he is. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's a nice. One. Those are all. The, those are all fresh water. Um, sometimes you get brackish water ones in, but these ones are fresh water. Um, oh, here you go. Chance of Kramas. Uh, Malawi trouts. <laughs> oh, these guys are really big for what they actually advertise and. Really nice uh, predatory fish, big Malawi fish. Really nice coloration. If you uh, if you know about them, you know these are fun fish, and they don't pop up too often on the wholesaler list. Almost done. One more bag left. All right. So, got some more zigzag eels in. Sold out and. These ones look really nice, a uh, nice orange coloration to them. Uh, so, yeah, these guys are fun. A couple smaller ones in there, but man. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, fire hats. So. They're uh, one of the fish that even, one of the African cichlids that even when they're small, they have a decent amount of color. You can kind of see it there. Get a nice speckling of color all over their body. So. I'll be back when y'all get to one gold and stuff. All right, sounds good. I need some of that uh, conditioning water stuff, though. I don't have any at the moment. Yeah, I look, I can see now. Sorry about okay, that. Okay, I'll be back then. Yeah, hey, you take care. All right, have a good one. Happy New Year. Thank you. That's another one. These came in awesome looking. The coloration is just another, another archer fish. Just stunning. <clears throat> Tiger Oscars. Everybody likes their Oscars. Oh yeah. Uh, been getting them from here because they've just been a lot healthier and look a lot better than where I was getting them from. But uh, yeah, nice coloration on them, nice reds. So, got the last few bags in here. Some albino tiger Oscars. These guys look a little bigger. Yeah, they definitely will. So, yeah, they're cool looking. Nice patterns on them. So still got the black tails, which is interesting. <clears throat> oh, there you go. That's a real nice one. Nice pigeon checkerboard discus. Nice. And he's not. He's a little camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Electric blue cars. Ooh, those are nice ones. So, beautiful coloration. You know, a hybrid strain or a line bridge strain of blue car. They moving too much for you. Uh, I'm getting them a little bit yeah, okay. there. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, they got really nice blue coloration. You got red in the fins. So nice uh, semi-aggressive fish. You know, put them in with some big angels and stuff like that. They do really well. Some geophagus. And we got some living stone eye. Um, oh, Nimbo cool. chromis, living stone eye. Fish you don't see a lot. You usually see the, uh, what are they? the venustus. Those are really common. But these guys are uh, a little less common and they're cool. Cool fish, and that is, yeah. That's a wrap. That's everyone. So uh, get everything put away, and uh, yeah, come on by this week. We uh, get lots of new fish. We have a uh, bunch of new drift we'll be on a few weeks ago, and come check out what we're doing in the store. Lots of renovations, lots of changes. So. Yeah, Fishy Biz, 8 Mile Farmington in Farmington. Uh, you can't miss us. We're up by the Little Caesars, just north of 8 Mile and uh, west of Farmington Road. We'll guys see you when you get here.